Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. I'd just like to clarify something before we jump in. If you would like your answers to align with my explanation, please make sure you are careful with how you word your question. I will interpret like positive energies as a yes and negative energies as a no. So you want your question to like you want your yeses to be the positive answers and you want your noes to be the negative answers. For example, you don't want to say, will I fail this test? Because I'll be like, we'll get a really good card, you know, 10 of pentacles will pop up and I'll be like, yes, 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 everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be awesome. And you're like, oh, damn, that means I'm going to fail the test. Well, it's like, no, 10 of pentacles doesn't mean you're going to fail the test, right? <laughs> what it means is that your current question, your current problem is going to have a positive outcome. So you'd want to ask the question, am I going to pass the test? Because then when you get a positive card and you get my yes, and then everything all lines up. So just be a little bit aware of that. Let's get to the cards. It's pile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pile one. Knight of Vessels, which is the Knight of Cups. I gotta go with a no on this one. <laughs> the, like, I just don't see how an eel is really auspicious for anybody. This is a little slippery and creepy. I think most of us, we see an eel and we get a little bit skeeved out. I'm gonna go with a no here. I feel like somebody might be trying to trick you. Somebody might be trying to lead you on like nothing too serious, not like really bad gaslighting or anything, but I just don't get a, I don't get a good vibe here. I get a sleep, like slippery, sneaky, not so good. It's a not so good, Nick. <laughs> this is a no. Okay, pile two. Knight of Bows, the fox. This is a yes. I would love to see a fox, right? You just have to think of how you feel when you see this animal running by. You'd be excited. I feel like foxes, they're off doing good things. They're off succeeding and getting away with stuff. You might be getting away with something. <laughs> but this is overall a good energy. I give you a yes. Okay, pile number three. Six of Vessels, Reunion. This is a yes. This, especially if you're asking about like interpersonal relationships of any kind. It says right on here, six of vessels reunion. So there's going to be kind of an inflow of love, but also an outflow. Like I imagine people kind of pouring their like goblets of water into the same vessel. Like there is love flowing in all directions. This is a, a yes, I think for basically anything, but a really, really good sign for any kind of problems to do with um, interpersonal relationships. And if you're asking about an ex, well, um, I hope you want that X to come back because this suggests, you know, that that reunion is coming. All right, pile number four. The journey. This is the death card of this death, of this death, of this deck. So... This is a no simply because the general energy of this card is like nothing is going to be the same. Nothing is going to be the same. Something is going to end. It also means that something is going to begin and there's going to be a new cycle. But basically, first, you got to close off the old cycle and then you go into the new cycle. So, you know, this card doesn't really... It's really complex, so there's a lot more to it than a simple yes or no answer, but this, the only yes or no answer I can give you would definitely be a no. This is a no, but, you know, nothing's going to be the same. You're going to be moving forward, and things are going to radically, radically shift and transform, and you will probably find that your question is no longer relevant in the near future, and everything is going to be completely different for you. That is the main message here. All right, card number five. The Blasted Oak. This is the tower. This is a no. This is, there is chaos all around you. Things are like you're in a storm. You're literally in a thunderstorm. Well, not maybe literally, but definitely figuratively, energetically, and metaphysically, you are in some kind of storm. Everything is 
blowing around you. Things are being uprooted and tossed around. But your foundations for this this tower card, because it's not the tower card, right? It's the blasted oak. The foundations of, you know, of your forest, your roots remain strong, but everything is getting tossed around. And you're going to wake up and find yourself like you're not going to be in Kansas anymore. Everything's going to be different. Your environment is going to be drastically different. So this is a no. Okay, card number six. Nine of bows, respect. This is a yes. The bows are the wands, so this would be your nine of wands. And it's a really, I think, a positive rendition of the nine of wands. You have worked really hard to establish yourself and to get yourself to where you're at. And you are going to be receiving respect from your community, from your loved ones, from the people uh, around you, even like the non-physical beings around you. Uh, you have really, really earned your place. This is a really auspicious sign for anybody who has been working to get ahead. You know, you're, there's still a little bit to go with the nine of wands or the nine of bows. You're never, you're not quite there yet, but you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're starting to reap the rewards. And this is a really positive sign. So this is a yes. Okay, card number seven. The archer. This is a yes. This is like the chariot. You are blasting your will out into the world. You are full of willpower and manifestation. This is like whatever you are dreaming of, you can bring this to fruition. You can manifest this. This is manifesting your dreams. You know, all you need to do is keep your eye on the target. Keep Keep your eye on the prize. Make sure you are focusing on what you want because, you know, and, and as long as you are focusing on what you want, you can hit your target. This is a really, uh, a really wonderful, wonderful yes, especially if you're trying to accomplish something. Um, and even if you feel like you have to accomplish it entirely on your own and through like your own force of will, this archer, you can do it. You can totally do it. Okay, card number eight. Five of Vessels, Ecstasy. This is a yes. Look at this. She is dancing in the middle of a five-pointed star, dancing in the middle of a pent pentacle. It's funny because normally the Five of Cups would be a no, but this uh, deck has some really um, completely different interpretations. And this card, look how positive it is, guys. Look how positive it is. She is... I like. She has left all of her cares and worries and like bullshit behind her she is even if there's crap happening around her she's like no i'm inside my circle i am in my moment and i am going to love every minute of it she is really tuning into her own her own magic she's tuning into her own magic and it is wonderful and she can spread that to others so this is a yes a really really beautiful yes in this case okay card number nine the Woodward. This would be the strength card in a typical tarot. This is a card about protection, protecting yourself uh, with your own internal strength and also sharing that with others. You are really a safe, providing a safe haven for somebody, even if you don't know it. You could just be your emotional support is keeping people safe. And if you have children or even just uh, dogs or cats that you need to look after, um, this is saying that I feel like you're like holding out your umbrella for people and you are providing a lot, a lot of support, probably more support than you really realize. This is a yes, but there's a lot more to it than that. I feel like you guys need to know how valuable you are and that your service is, even if people aren't acknowledging it like out loud and to your face, you need to know that whatever you've been doing for people is really, really important. Um, but don't forget to look after yourselves. Don't drain your strength dry because you have an important role to fulfill and somebody wants you to know that you're doing the right thing. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Like You guys are definitely the woodward. You are somebody guard guarding the forest, guarding your home, guarding that which matters most. So there you go. This is a yes. Card number 10. 
Seven of Stones, healing. Okay, this is a not yet. This is a card of waiting, right? The Seven of Pentacles would always be, is always that like waiting, growing your garden, meditating. Look at this. This like green person here is meditating, is providing healing for this fallen warrior. There's definitely an energy of waiting, of watching and waiting, um, putting in your efforts to heal, but nothing like the outcome is not set in stone yet, right? Nothing is set in stone. We don't know what's going to happen. Maybe uh, this healer doesn't know if this person is going to make it or not. So for this one, guys, I just got to say, you know, not yet. We don't like there is no answer for you right now. You got to wait. I mean, there it is healing. So there is definitely like a, a positive like undercurrent here. I, I think that you should be hopeful <laughs> that things kind of are looking like they're going to work out that there is because there is healing taking place like literally right now. Things are on a positive trajectory, but right now you just got to wait it out. We don't know the answer for sure right now. Nothing is set in stone. You're going to have to have to just chill. <laughs> going to have to just wait and see how it unfolds. And, you know, you can ask about this question again once you sense the energies around it starting to shift. And I think that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.